What's going on guys? This is Nick up here at Maple Motors getting ready to go for a test drive in a 1970 Impala. Let's go for a ride. All right, getting ready to take off in this car. This is the 70 Impala. As we're riding down the road, I'm gonna pick flaws on it like crazy. Anything that I see that's wrong, I'll let you know. Let you know what gauges are working. I'm gonna check this hood, make sure it don't fly open, smash in my windshield. And we're good to go. I haven't started this car since earlier this morning. Uh, I did move it up here earlier this morning, then we went to lunch and had a lot of errands to run, so. Just letting you know, it's cold right now. And she starts right up. I didn't even touch the gas, guys. We are gonna stop at the gas station because this gas gauge is saying quarter of a tank. I wanna check and make sure that it is correct. Radio does not work. None of the air controls work. They don't do anything. Wipers, wipers work. Um, full pressure gauge is coming up. I'll let you know about that temp gauge. Let's take a ride. Looks like the horn button's stuck on the steering wheel here. Yeah, the horn does not work. Feels pretty tight. Car took off nice and smooth. We're going straight down the road. It's not pulling left or right. Check my brakes before we get too far up here. Oh, they feel good. is hooked up so our passing gear is working our speedometer is coming up as well temp gauge has not moved yet got a really low idle right now for y'all wonder why I use two feet it's for these old carbureted cars I don't always drive with two feet. My new model car, I don't. I mean, it's a stick, but I'm not sitting here with my foot on the brake all the time. With an old classic car, if it's idled so low, when we get them in, or a big cam, I usually two foot it. I keep the car running sometimes. This one, I'm not having to do that, but it is idled very low, but I still do it as a precaution. I'm so used to doing it, I've been doing it for 16 years, so I'm sorry, guys, if it bothers you. But I don't always drive with two feet. But I'm not holding the brake and the gas at the same time as I'm riding down the road. See, my foot's off of it. Well, I'm going to pull in here and get some gas. I'll let you know about the gas gauge. See if it's working. It is floating around, so I'm going to say it probably is. But we'll find out for sure. Up here at the gas station, I'm gonna check it for you and make sure this gauge works. But I'm gonna throw about twenty dollars worth of premium in. And we'll take off, go down the road, and we'll find out if it works. This car actually has a locking gas cap on it. You gotta have a key for it. And actually, while we're standing here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the trunk. Uh, in my walk around video, I showed you the trunk. It needed to be painted because it was like three different colors. <clears throat> and also got the right key first on that one. Of course, I'm always going to have it last for the right key. There we go. But I redid the trunk. Sometimes I get into painting them and stuff. Repainted it, spattered it. It's not three different colors anymore. And you've seen what it looked like before. It just looks a lot better. All right. Let's keep on rolling. All right, so before I put the key in the ignition, the gas gauge is a little below a quarter of a tank. 
Turn the key on. It does work. We're over half a tank now. Keep rolling. I went ahead and did in the last video you seen the walk around I wasn't really impressed with the way the motor looked I don't ever really get into it but I went ahead and spiffed it up a little bit it looks a lot better than it did so if you want to compare it you can refer to the detailed pictures on maplemotors.com or you can Refer to my last video that I just posted. All right. This one's no powerhouse, just a cruiser car. Showing 66,000 miles on there. Probably more like 166. Our temp gauge has not come up yet, so I'm gonna say that's not hooked up right. Oil pressure still holding at 60. said before the kick down's hooked up it's working good motor sounds good steering's nice and tight brakes they're great suspension's nice and smooth here's a bump in the road here just kind of glide right over this one i believe is going to have a highway gear so you can hop on there and do 70 75 80 another bump in the road this one's pretty big overall feels really good though enjoyed our test drive in this car today i post videos like this every single day please subscribe please share my videos i appreciate y'all watching if you want 100 detailed pictures of this car or any car on the lot go ahead and check my website out maplemotors.com so we buy cars every day generally about 30 cars a month come through the lot i try to keep a an updated post every single day of a new car and like today, I'm going to post a Chevelle before I leave work, so be watching for that. If you want to talk to somebody on the phone, my name is Nick. I'm up here with my whole family. Give us a call, 615-822-4444. I appreciate y'all watching, and thanks again, guys.